What's good, y'all? Shout out to Notification Gang for hitting the like button. And the video didn't even start yet, y'all. Villas ones in it. I appreciate you anyway. Boston Housing Authority, man. Y'all, y'all got some explaining to do. Boston Housing Authority. Y'all have some explaining to do. Cause this is crazy. If y'all don't know, I mean, I'm sure you read the title, so it is what it is. They found multiple kids in a Boston, Boston Housing Authority uh, apartment. Multiple kids with multiple men performing inappropriate acts with them, around them, and all this, that, and a third. So bad to the point that when the police got there, they saw sex toys around the damn kids, men, multiple men talking about they don't know what's going on, all this other damn nonsense. And my thoughts and prayers goes out to those damn kids. People don't understand how bad it gets in these housing authorities, bro. And, and me growing up in them, seeing them, having friends with them, having, you know, family members. And again, like I said, me growing up in that too, you see, you, you see some, you see some, some crazy things. You see some crazy things. And I'm so happy and thankful that these officers were able to find them when they did. Unfortunately, um, some people were not doing their jobs because this should not have been going on, let alone going on for this long. But let, let's get into this, y'all. First responders were called here to these apartments on Saturday for an apparent cardiac arrest. When they got here, they discovered someone had died and also found that several people were hiding children in a back room. Tonight, four children less than 10 years old are in DCF custody after authorities and public officials say they were found in an apartment with six cross-dressing men, sex toys, drugs, and alcohol. Firefighters discovered them after one of those adults died at the apartment. It was obviously sickening you know, to, to hear from those that were there at the scene describing what they saw. Um, and the actions of the adults that were in the room. City Councilor at Large Michael Flaherty says he spoke with the firefighters who responded to the Mary Ellen McCormick apartments and filed paperwork to make sure the state intervened with the children. According to their incident report, the apartment was in extreme unsanitary conditions. All adult parties were being uncooperative and denied having children in the apartment. And listen, hold on. I'd just on this statement alone, just on this statement alone, every goddamn person, man, whatever y'all want to identify yourself as, I don't give a damn, whatever y'all want to identify yourself as, should have been arrested immediately. Because how is it that six grown ass men, right? One of them has, goes into cardiac arrest and they said he dies, you know, whatever. None of y'all knew that there was children, multiple kids locked up in the back room. None of y'all knew this. You 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 seen it right here. Denied having children inside the apartment. So none of y'all knew it was kids up in there? Under 10 years old? One of them damn kids, I'm sure, was probably up in there crying, talking about y'all want food, I'm hungry, or whatever the case may be. Disgusting. And to see that it says it was in extreme unsanitary conditions. Y'all, and, and you know, and I, I get it. We, 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 there's only so much we can do as far as protecting our kids. But this is the reason why I'm so terrified to have kids, man. I am terrified. I don't know what I would do in a situation like this. If my child was to end up missing, my child was to end up in that goddamn apartment like that. I don't know what I would do. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to prison. I'm telling you right now. And I know for a fact, they're going to go back and play this damn video in my court. Hey, yo, well, Dev said that he was going to go to prison. I'm going to be sitting there nodding my head like. Because I don't I have zero tolerance for people abusing kids, let alone my, I don't have any kids yet, but when I do decide to have kids, let alone my damn kids, I have a zero tolerance for it. 
zero tolerance for. I can't stand people uh, abusing, using anything like that, uh, people that's weaker than them. And they know that. And I just don't like it. And sometimes it doesn't have to be kids. Sometimes it could be a woman. Sometimes it could be a man versus a bigger man or some crap like that. I can't stand it. It pisses me off and it rubs me the wrong way. Every time I see it and I hear about it, it just rubs me the wrong goddamn way. I'm thankful that DCF got involved and took them damn kids, but something should have been happened. This should have been been stopped a long or prevented a long time ago. And the only reason why they found out about it, imagine this, is because one of them, one of the guys that was up in there assaulting them damn kids ends up having a, a, a goes in a cardiac arrest and died. Thank God. Good for him. But let, let's keep going, man. We almost done. My bad. I ain't mean to. <laughs> I know how I do what I start monologuing, man. My bad. Having children in the apartment. Drugs, alcohol, drug paraphernalia, sex toys, etc. Uh, and so they were concerned. They had reached out to me just to make sure that it didn't get swept under the rug. The governor says DCF is now involved in investigating. Just heartbreaking, terrible situation. DCF has taken those children into its care and, and custody right now. City leaders doing a walkthrough here, now wondering how this could have happened. Counselors planning to hold a hearing with the Boston Housing Authority. The place is disgusting, uh, and uh, this is on BHA. Uh, they uh, need to be doing a better job uh, down there. Now, the Boston Housing Authority sent us a statement saying that they had received no prior complaints about the unit where this all apparently happened, and they're working with the agencies involved to take all the appropriate follow-up. We're live here in South Boston this evening. I'm Peter Iliopoulos, WCVB, News Center 5. And real, real quick, man, somebody should have seen, heard, smelled something. Maintenance people... The goddamn, like, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and I'm not trying to put anybody else to blame. I'm literally putting the housing, Boston Housing Authority to blame because they usually do, um, sometimes they do weekly, sometimes they do monthly uh, check-ins. You get what I'm saying? And the fact that none of that happened, or maybe it did happen and they just wasn't doing their da goddamn job, because nothing just gets, like they said, in their words, extremely unsanitary. Um overnight those those things usually takes weeks months in, in in advance and i wish that they showed maybe a few pictures or videos or some of that of the apartments so we can get like a better idea of of what, of what we're looking at um you know what i mean but it's, it's just i don't get it look at this extreme unsanitary conditions what what meaning what there was probably urine and fecal matter all over the damn apartment but these all grown ass men got time to get drugs and and sex toys and all this other nasty ass stuff. Crazy. I can only imagine what them damn them, them kids was seeing and going through. And they knew what they was doing. They made those kids kids go in the damn back room when when, when they when they damn homeboy fell out. Y'all get it back. Don't say nothing. I'm so thankful that that the damn that the responders was able to find them kids. Because who knows what else would have happened? Who knows? Boston Housing Authority, man, y'all, y'all, hey, we we need we need answers. We need answers. Because this this is this is, I mean, this is like next level. This is next level. Like I hear about people messing up and screwing up their jobs, but this is next level. This should not have never ever happened. And it just speaks volumes on what's going on, not just in Boston, but around the damn country, a lot around the world, obviously, of course, but around the country. I guarantee you there's a situation like this, such as this, similar to this or whatever, um, in Florida, in New York, California, Texas, South North Dakota, South North Carolina, Tennessee, Georgia, everywhere. I guarantee you. But when it comes to these housing authorities, they need to do a better damn job. A lot of them are overworked, underpaid, and I get it. But you signed up for this job. Do your job efficiently. You should have been walking as 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 uh, as an agent. You you supposed to be walking through, looking at every goddamn crevice. Hey yo, this ain't clean. Why the dishes ain't done? Why why the mop ain't? Why the floor look like it ain't been swept and mopped in, in in a long time? Where them kids at? Bring them kids out. I need to see them. Let me see their room. Matter of fact, walk me back there. Let's go.
getting straight to it. Somebody didn't do their damn job right. And that, that's, that's all it boiled down to, man. I, um, Yeah, man, I want y'all to comment down below and let me know what you thought about this video, man. Thanks for watching. And until next time, please, man, y'all be safe for a